I told you that was a stupid idea. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Hey everybody. So uh, we're gonna start getting these beams up here today. So uh, here are the two for the dormer. They still need to be cut and whatnot, uh, but I am going to get them up first, cut them up there because if I take the length off here, I can't lean them up against because they'll be too short at that point. So I'm going to uh, lean these up, pull them up, cut them, and then put them on for the dormers. And I've already got the other three beams for the top up there already. So uh, depending on how quickly this goes, which I think is going to go pretty quick, depending on how quickly this goes, I'm going to try to start working on the others. It's, we're going to do the gin pole thing, um, hopefully, and hopefully it works. So. Uh, come along and hopefully I don't break anything. That's the last of the heavy beams. Got them, and it wasn't easy. I was like, ah, this might go pretty fast. No, it didn't go fast, and it didn't go easy, but it went. They're up there. So it's lift these beams up day. So I've got a, a gin pole here, and I've got an A-frame here for these beams. I think this one will be okay for these dormers and these are the ones that I'm going to start first. So essentially if you haven't done this, and this is, listen, this thing is rigged up. Uh, and I'm only going, and when I say rigged up, I mean not in a good way. Um, so when I built the pavilion, I basically did this exact same thing, but with a, in fact, this two by eight right here. Uh, you see this uh, right there. That's from when I built the pavilion. So I put another one up here. And this is a 4x4. Four four. That thickness, I'm sure, is going to be just fine. And I'm going to uh, run a line from here down and tighten it so that that thing can't lean forward and flip over. Uh, and then we're just going to crank these things up and hopefully get them into position. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't break anything, including my neck. So something just like that is what we're kind of going for. Okay, so that's tight enough to where. Okay, so something like that. So I haven't showed you guys yet. You'll see it before we're done today. But um, I dropped a uh, this beam, one of these two beams. I dropped it on my Milwaukee drill, and 
I mean, it just crushed it. When I was lifting it up here, I got it in the strap gave way. Boom, landed right on the drill. And um, long story short, I just bought this. Now, let me say a couple things. Uh, there's one tool that I know really well, and that's a drill. And uh, I'm typically a Milwaukee guy. I like Milwaukee drills quite a bit, but I don't use drills. I used to use drills every day of my life, and I don't anymore. Um, so used Milwaukee's for years, went through my DeWalt phase as a, as a youth, went through my DeWalt phase, went back to Milwaukee, just quality drill. Um, I don't use them a lot anymore. So I stopped at Harbor Freight. I know you guys are laughing and I know you like some of you are cussing. I bought this, this Bauer brand. If you go to home, uh, Harbor Freight, I think it's like their house brand. This is a solid drill. Now, that being said, uh, on one occasion, I made the mistake of uh, buying a Craftsman drill, like the Lowe's Craftsman stuff, and it is garbage. Literally, like 40 minutes later, I brought that stuff back to the store. This is a really nice drill. So, And the, my, my deal with it was, sure, I'd want a Milwaukee, but one, I'm out in the sticks. There's nothing close to me, but there is a Harbor Freight on the way here. Um, and two, right, I'd, I'd be like 300-ish, yeah, at a minimum 250-ish, for the quality Milwaukee drill that I want. So I'm like, I'll just buy this piece of garbage and if I break it, I don't care. It cost me 70 bucks and this thing's got all kinds of power. So uh, I would, no, I don't know how long it's gonna last because I've had it for 10 minutes, but this is a really, really nice drill. Feels good in the hand, got plenty of power. So, you know, for, for a guy who's looking for kind of a spare drill sort of thing, definitely a good scenario, good option. Okay, so we got it hooked up. Got the D-ring right here, D-ring right there, chained, going right into here. And now we've got the lift right here. Um, if everything goes okay, it's gonna float right up there and boom, we're gonna be in business. Um, if it doesn't, it's gonna get real ugly real fast. Because this is not touching over there, should be very easy for me to just move this just like that, kind of into position. Two Hearted Ale, Comstock, Michigan. Tasty. It's uh, it's Friday. So I deserve a beer. Okay, just like that. Cause I feel, okay. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm on that piece of wood and I need that slack. Uh oh, whatever that was, because I'm on it. Did you see that whole thing just shift? It came, right? Everything came. I've only got like an inch to go, but that was weird. That got really weird real quick. Oh, it just, it literally just shifted the entire thing, which is fine. Now I'm going to set her down because we're there now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's how you do that. Bam. Whew, man, 
Didn't that seem like it took a long damn time? It did. And hopefully this one goes a little bit smoother because I'm, I'm not gonna put it on such an angle and that sort of thing, so second time. And hopefully we knock this one out pretty quick, so cross your fingers. Okay, so I need to come in, no doubt. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this forward. Might even just stand straight up. Okay, stand straight up. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. That is a horrible, that's a horrible idea right now. You know, right? You're sitting there going, what are you doing, dude? You know that's a horrible idea, but we'll let her sit there and simmer for a minute. Still won't slide. Come on. I told you that was a stupid idea. Well, the good news is it's still in one piece. The bad news is I gotta go get it. That was real genius of you. Real genius. I'm gonna see if I can just grab this thing and pull it real quick. It's not terribly heavy. If I can, that's what we're gonna do. You know, they say hobbits have the strength of 10 men. And that is me being done for the day. And I ain't gonna get hurt over it. So be back tomorrow. So it doesn't always go smooth, I can tell you that much. But again, this is, um, you know, out of all the days that I've been out here, I've had very few days like this where things just, you know, it just doesn't work out. And I know what happened when that thing went over, uh, it, bo it broke the base and, and it just, it's just not uh, solid anymore. It's, it's a little wobbly. So I'll put a new base on that thing tomorrow, crank it up there and get that done and then get to work on these other ones. So, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not too terribly upset about it. Like I said, it's getting late and, uh, and that's it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't already to get the latest and greatest me breaking stuff at the cabin. See ya.